man. So you just finished up the, the DDO with a clutch putt on the last hole. Where, what, was, what was going through your head there? I mean, it was, that was not like a gimme. That was a big one, man. Um, honestly, I was planning on laying up and taking a par, and then I saw that I was tied with four or five other guys, and the putt was a little closer than I thought. I couldn't lay it up in front of a couple hundred people, so Good on you. just went for it. Nice. And I think that really just kind of like solidified your spot for the USDGC later on this year. Yes. yes. Yeah, super pumped about it. Nice. It was hard not to think about that. That's why I was planning on laying up because, you know, who knows what can happen. Right, yeah, yeah. But, man, made the putt. You're going to the USDGC. What's next? What's next? Goat Hill. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. I'm pumped, dude. All right, man. This little stretch is amazing. I like Kansas, and then I've never been to California, so I'm excited. Just soak it up. Here, let's 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 just soak it up. Maybe don't look maybe don't look straight into the sun, but let's just soak it up for a minute. Man, the sun probably feels a lot better in California, huh? It's pretty nice. This is Gavin Rathbun. He punched his ticket for the for the USDGC in Rock Hill in October. Gavin, well done, man. Thank you, AJ. Let's go. Yeah, what do you think? I mean, is that does that look like natural growth or this one could. Yeah. These two now. How do you feel about your your journey in disc golf? Has it been like a natural growth or has it been like kind of like someone put you there and you just you just went with it. You just rolled with it. A little, bit of, it. Both. A little, a little bit, bit of both. A little bit of both. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, the good and the bad, it's all, you know, it's in the balance. If you don't know who I'm talking about yet, this is I'm not even going to introduce him. It's 2020 U.S. champion. Insert name here. <laughs> Chris, uh, how'd you play today? Final round of the Dynamic Discs Open, if uh, you couldn't tell by some of the spectators here. How'd you play? Good overall. I had uh, two bogeys on par threes that I really wish I could have back, but I would have settled for par on either one of those, but just didn't throw good enough shots. I feel you. Did you throw any any good shots, any good putts? What was, what were the highlights then? Yeah, yeah, I made some good putts, especially with how windy it was today. Um, threw some good shots too, yeah. Uh, hole one was a good start. I, I woke up this morning, my back was really, really tight. So uh, I saw Seth Muncy, he helped me out, and I got uh, Zach out here to caddy for me. So at first I was wondering if I was going to be able to play I got out here and threw some shots. It was hurting, but I was able to play through it. So uh, there were definitely a few shots where I could tell I didn't throw them how I should have, especially one of those par threes I, I was talking about. I mm -hmm. just sawed a shot off and it went out of bounds. But um, yeah, besides that, felt good overall. What, is there like a secret? Is there, is there some kind of like mental reset that you have um, because it seems like you always play really, really well on the final day. Mm -hmm. is, there, is, there, is there like an answer to that or is it just a coincidence? I don't know exactly what it is. It could be coincidence. It could be with uh, just the conditions coming together like people are pushing each other the last round a little bit more than they are the rounds before that. So could be that, could be coincidence. I really don't know. It just, ha it just turns out that way sometimes. Hey man, that's, uh, yeah, sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Yep. Heather, what up? Hi there. Hey. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Hot round today. How you feeling? I'm feeling really good. I didn't think there was any way I could shoot hot round at a course like this, so I'm pretty excited. Okay, but why, why not? I mean, you just came off, like, your first big win on tour, and so what's up? I mean... I mean, this course and Jones Gold are both just really long. So I was, I was really excited that like my game feels really good right now. Like I was just keeping it in bounds and making all my putts like I needed to. Good. Yeah. I mean, that's what it's all about is staying within yourself in these like high pressure moments. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and I don't know if you know this yet, but I think you might've like jumped up into third place. Yeah. I just saw I'm tied for third right now with Macy. That's pretty exciting. And you got the invite to the throw pink women's disc golf championship. Nailed it. Nice. Yeah. I was, I saw that I was in fifth. I had the last spot for that and I knew that I needed to qualify for that. So I'm excited to get that. Nice. Nice. Awesome job. I mean, okay. So 
now that this tournament's done for you and almost done for everybody, mm -hmm. what are you planning? What's uh, what's next? What do you, you know, the tour, tour's going out west. Yep. Are you going out west? I'm not planning to. I'm planning to go back home. I have a local tournament next week and then the Tennessee State Championships. I'm planning on starting again with the big tour at Worlds. At Worlds. Great. Man, well, you got you got a lot of momentum going for you right now. Heather, great playing this week, especially since, you, I mean, you got here, what, on Monday and the tournament started on Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah, it was really weird having only two days to practice two courses. Mm. I ended up playing both courses each day, so I was kind of really tired after that. Jeez. But I feel like it paid off because I knew the courses pretty well and was able to stay in bounds. Nice. Heather Young, she's here. She's not going anywhere anytime soon, and she's eating and drinking regularly, <laughs> which is good news to me. Heather, great job this week. Thank you. Yeah. While I usually like look at the ground or up at the sky, sometimes in the camera if like I feel like there's a fourth wall being broken, but while, while you're talking, I'm gonna look at you if that's cool. Yeah. Okay, first question. You want a cookie? Oh yeah. These are sure. like, these are called Buckeyes. Okay, am I supposed to eat it right now? You can, I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, mic'd up while you eat. Never mind. just kidding. I'll do a little intro for you. Okay, we're here. The Dynamic Discs Open is done for 2021, at least the competition side of it. And I'm standing here next to Haley King. Haley, I'm looking at your trophy over there. Look at it. Would you just look at it? Spoiler alert, she won. How did, how'd it go? I mean, well, you won, but how does it feel? Take your time. It feels, I mean, honestly, it feels amazing. Um, I was stressing myself out so much for no reason, and having Lindsay on my bag was just keeping me pushed, you know, going forward and everything. So being able to push through it actually, like, means a lot for my mental game, and, like, okay. I feel like I finally stepped up. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's super important to have someone to bounce ideas off of or, at le or even just someone to support you in those decisions that you make so that way you know you made the right one. I got a chance to watch a tiny bit of the live coverage and I think I saw your drive on 14 and you gave like a big fist pump after that drive because you ripped it. Can you tell us about that moment, like what was going through your mind other than I'm yes? I'm trying to think what 14 is. That's the one that goes this way? With the white fence okay. along, yeah, um, along the side. I threw a Nuke OS into straight headwinds so for it to just go straight and like go as far as a normal drive I was like yeah like yeah. it was an OB it was I made a good decision and I was just happy about it good good you've made a lot of good decisions this year this is your second win on the national tour and there have only been two national tour events so far this year um how like I said my bud lens she keeps me going <laughs> Any, like, can you give us any insights um, on, like, your preparation, like, mental or physical or practice routines, anything like that? Like, what was, like, what's the one standout thing that you feel like you could check back on, in on and that kind of gave you some, uh, you know, security in those decisions? Um, I honestly think just talking through every shot and just, like, envisioning the line or at least picking where I want to throw it and commit to that yeah. is definitely the most important thing for me to just keep calm and just be confident. Gotcha. How old are you again? Uh, 19. 19. So, and then what do you, are you going out to the West Coast swing? What's up? What's, uh, what's next for Haley King? So as of right now, next is U.S. Women's. So I have a little break. Yeah. A little break. What a... Uh, what do you feel like doing during that break? Any, you know, more workouts, more practice, the opposite? I mean, you know, this this is your moment, but Paige Pierce, I think, is in, like, Hawaii right now. Are you going to go join her? <laughs> um, no. I might go practice for Worlds, get a couple weeks of practice in before. Cool. All right. Well, I don't think I, don't think I have anything else. Do you have any questions for me? How are you doing today? I'm doing really well, you know, hanging in there and just surrounded by a lot of friends and getting to watch some really, really good golf. And I mean, it's to me, it's like watching the reactions of the players is super, super interesting. 
there's a wide spectrum of like positivity, negative negativity. There's players that are balanced as well. How would you, how do you, like, where do you think you fit on that spectrum of like reaction wise? I get stressed really easy. It doesn't matter if I end up taking a par, if I didn't put it as close as I wanted to, I stress myself out. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Does that kind of, do you find some motivation in that stress to, to bring yourself back to center at all? Yeah, definitely. I don't like ever stress out too much to where I can't keep moving forward. Yeah. But I mean, I feel like being stressed is still not good as is, you know, like being the little bit stressed for me, it's not good. I can't yeah. think clearly like I'm worrying about everything else instead of just worrying about what I'm supposed to be. Oh, man. Um, dang. Gosh, great job. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. That's Haley King, everybody.